Next tonight, police tempting fate and potential thieves using unlocked cars as bait. But the new video is raising new questions about those tactics. Here's ABC's Ron Claiborne. You're watching newly released video of a car theft in Toledo, Ohio, as it happens. The teenage suspect finding an unlocked car with the keys in the ignition. What he doesn't know yet is that it's a bait car set up by police to catch a thief. The bait cars are outfitted with tiny hidden cameras that record everything the car thief does. Police officers nearby monitor that video on their cell phones. The police stop the car by remote and lock the doors. The teenager immediately panics. He punches the side window. Finally, he kicks his way out, but cops nab him a short distance away. He pleaded guilty to auto theft in the 2014 incident. This Toledo man busted as he munched on snacks inside a bait car stolen last year. He also pleaded guilty. But is this police tactic entrapment? Leaving the keys in the car, leaving the doors unlocked as bait is not a form of entrapment. Ohio is not alone. In New Mexico, this group of buddies allegedly went joyriding in a stolen bait car in 2012. I don't know, no, I saw his car with the keys on the side. I opened the door, it was unlocked. I grabbed the keys, I was like, this is a car. It's just one way police are rolling back the tide of half a million car thefts every year by setting the bait and letting the car thief take it. Ron Claiborne, ABC News, New York.